Hello again, everyone. I'm Wade Sherman, and welcome to Monsters of Destruction on the Outdoor Channel. We're at Ogden Stadium in Ogden, Utah. Nice crowd on hand to see round 22 of MOD action. After 21 rounds, the straight line standing show Dragon Slayer on top, followed by Monster Patrol, Spider-Man, Bigfoot, Linux Obsession, and Monster Moose. In the obstacle course standings, after 21 rounds, it's Dragon Slayer, driven by Craig Christensen, also on top. This is his hometown event, and we talk to him about what it's like to race at home. All right, here with uh, Craig Christensen. Now, uh, Craig, this is a hometown event for you. You've got to be uh, excited about being here in Ogden. Yeah, like I say, this is my home, and uh, as you look around, you can see the beautiful scenery. You can see why I do live here. The weather's great, the people are great, and this is why I come back for home. That's right. Now, uh, as it stands, we're actually going to be uh, doing round number 22 and 23 here. It's going to be a two-day event. Uh, how do you feel about that? That's great. Like I say, uh, Friday and Saturday event here. We can get two more. In fact, tomorrow will be the final round for uh, the, the outdoor series. And we can finish this thing up, and hopefully I can stay in front of everybody. Let's get things started with qualifying. This is Joe Cipher in the Airborne Ranger. First time we've seen him in MOD action. Joe has been in a car accident, drives with his hands. Let's see how he does here. Gets things going, handles the jump pretty well. Across the line in a time of 5.980. That's a fast time compared to what we saw at Rio Grande Speedway, but this course a little bit shorter. See if that 5.980 stands up for him. Challenging him will be Brad Campbell in the monster moves. Takes that single car right off the green, flies over the white cars, bounces it home. That's a fast time. Five, six, nine, eight. A nice run for Brad Campbell in the monster moves. Looking strong. Here's another of our first timers here in MOD action. This is James Teague in the Carolina Crusher. A little old school body on the Carolina Crusher. Let's see what James can do. Bounces landing over that first kicker. Lands on the front wheels, brings it across in 5, 6, 9, 2. A very similar time to Monster Moose. They're running neck and neck. Here's Brian Christensen in Disturbed. Brian, the son of Craig Christensen, our points leader in both categories. Looking to make a statement here tonight in front of his hometown crowd. Not a lot of air there. Good forward momentum. Rough landing, 6-1-1-3 for Brian Christensen. Here's the famous Monster Patrol truck driven this week by Brian Harwood. Normally drives the Oz Monster. He's filling in for Paul Schaefer on this swing through Ogden. A lot of horsepower in this truck. Look at him fly. Crosses the timing line in the air. His time, 5-5-6-6. Five, five, six, six. That's TQ so far for Brian Harwood in Monster Patrol. So Harwood looking good in the Monster Patrol machine. Brings us to Jason Grill in Public Disturbance. Heavy D, they call him. He's on the gas heavy. He's flying across the line. He's got a good run going here. What's the time? 5, 4, 2, 5. That's TQ so far after six qualifying rounds. Jason Grill makes a statement here in Ogden, Utah. Let's see if Paul Jensen in the Spider-Man truck has anything for him. He's got to beat a time of 5-4 and change if he wants to take top qualifying position here tonight. Very technical course. One car right off the green. Look at that air. He flew across the line. 4-9-0-5. Oh, almost a half a second better than Jason Grill. Paul Jensen on top of his game here tonight. Here's our points leader in the season standings. This is Craig Christensen in the Dragon Slayer. He's on the gas, doesn't get a lot of air over that first car, but he's running strong. What's he going to do? Four, nine, three, nine. Spins it to a stop into a little bit of a donut, maybe. He's celebrating. He thinks he's got it done, but he'll have to settle for second. Taking top qualifier here tonight is Spider-Man, followed by Dragon Slayer, Public Disturbance, Monster Patrol, and the rest of the field. We'll be back with more after this. Hey, Billy. Where are your zip zaps? Right here, guys. Oh! New Zip Zaps Micro RC Monster Trucks have arrived at Radio Shack with monster four-wheel drive action, front spring suspension, and working lights. You can even modify them with different wheels and motors. Some assembly required, batteries sold separately. Billy! Gotta go. Only at Radio Shack. You know, there's a name for people like you. World champion cowboy. Well, that depends on how you ride. 
Right now, when you buy any other of GoDaddy's hot internet products, like hosting, email, or website builders, you get your .com or any other domain name for just $3.99. Thanks much, little lady. Now that looks like a tech ride. But he'll have it easy at GoDaddy. Just go to www.godaddy.com slash TV. Speed Zone, brought to you by Optima Batteries, every Saturday at 5 p.m. MonsterTruckStore.com, your online source for monster truck merchandise. If you can't make it to the races, log on to MonsterTruckStore.com, featuring everything from die-cast toys to hats, t-shirt, and other apparel. It's your one-stop shop for everything monster truck. If it has anything to do with monster trucks, you can find it at MonsterTruckStore.com. From Barefoot to Bigfoot, Monster Patrol to Dragon Slayer, all the best monster truck merchandise is just a click of the mouse away. So what are you waiting for? Go online and go to MonsterTruckStore.com, your online source for monster truck merchandise. Monsters of Destruction on the Outdoor Channel is brought to you by Amerigas, America's propane company. And by MonsterTruckStore.com, your online source for monster truck merchandise. Let's try we'll move on now to heat number one of straight line drag competition. This will be Craig Christensen in the Dragon Slayer going up against Joe Cipher in the Airborne right. Ranger. The air Joe, a veteran of many other Monster Truck Series All events, right, including Clear sure Channel, Monster Jam, right making his debut in MOD tonight, going up against MOD's best in Craig Christensen. Christensen brings it home first. Joe Cipher behind him. The time for Craig, 5-1-4-2. Joe Cipher, 5-6-4-1. Dragon Slayer will advance. Right there. Take another look now. A lot of air coming across the line in the air is Craig Christensen. Take a look at Joe Cypher now. He bounces those front wheels over the first kicker, catches the rear wheels on the stack of cars, and that cost him right here. Take one more look. Bounced that landing, got off the gas, setting up that jump to Joe Cypher, and by then, Craig Christensen was across the line victorious. This heat will feature James Teague in the Carolina Crusher going up against Brian Harwood in Monster Patrol. Monster Patrol has that Hemi power, flies across the line. Carolina Crusher not even close. Harwood brings the Monster Patrol home. Four, five, five, seven, a blistering time. And Monster Patrol will advance. There you see those lights blazing. Moves that first car really well and launches himself, landing some 10 feet past the finish line. What a lot of air for Monster Patrol. There you see the rear wheels kick up on the Carolina Crusher. He punishes that right front. A little bit of a sloppy run here for James. Look at that right front land. He almost busted that suspension. He's going to have to save that truck for later in the night. A lot of racing left here in Ogden Stadium. Now it's two teammates doing battle. Brad Campbell in the Monster Moose going up against Jason Grill in public disturbance. Jason Grill, I'd have to say he was impressive in qualifying. He stood on it. He may be a force to be reckoned with here tonight. Gives a thumbs up to the camera. He's on the gas. This one will be close, but wow, look at Monster Moose fly across the line. Brad Campbell, 4-8-4-1. Jason Grill checks in at 5-2-4-7. A pretty close race, but Brad Campbell has that Monster Moose moving. It's over the kicker really well. Look at him fly right there. Clears the finish line in the air. A very interesting course here tonight in round 22. Here's Jason Grill's run. He's on the gas. He's giving it everything he has. A little bit of a slap on the landing there. Slowed him down a bit, and Monster Moose comes across the line in the air. That's where the difference was in this heat. So Monster Moose, impressive. As we move on to heat number four now, it will be Paul Jensen in Spider-Man going up against Brian Christensen in Disturbed. Christensen struggled in our last events at Rio Grande Speedway. He's not doing much better here as Spider-Man wins it going away. Disturbed is in trouble. I don't know if the truck quit on him. What happened there exactly? We'll have to take another look. But Christensen struggles continue. 10-3, 4-2 for him and Paul Jensen. 4-7. Look at that air for Paul. 
Brings the nose down, doesn't land on all fours, lands real hard on the front. Let's see if we can find out what went wrong with Brian Christensen here. Just missed the cars, and I guess he figured it was done at that point. Didn't set up the front wheels very cleanly on those uh, white cars. It was off course. Paul Jensen had this one over the first kicker. He was really on. So Brian will have to regroup for obstacle course racing. We'll be back with more MOD action after these words. Ouch, that hurts. With old-fashioned soldering irons, you're stuck to the wall. Plus, they can burn through anything. There's got to be a better way. Introducing Cold Heat, the world's first cordless cool-touch soldering tool. Watch, it's cold at first, but apply solder to the tip, and in seconds, it's hot enough to solder anything. When you're done, it cools down in seconds. Amazing! Forget tangled cords. Cold Heat is lightweight and portable, uses four AA batteries, and is ideal for family projects. It's so advanced it won the prestigious Red Dot Award for new tool design. Watch again. Go from soldering back to cool to touch in seconds. Now quickly mend precious jewelry, saving money. Easily repair solar lights outside for beautiful landscaping. Or fix a broken switch on your guitar with precision and speed. The breakthrough is patented technology. After the unique tip touches metal, it rapidly heats up to 800 degrees. Then cools off in seconds, so you can place it in your pocket. Now that's smart. Cold Heat is perfect for hobbies, RC cars, and arts and crafts. Cold Heat's easy and convenient. I use it for quick repairs around my house without worrying about getting burned. Call now and order your cordless Cold Heat soldering tool for just $19.95. We'll also include this durable carrying case. It's perfect for the toolbox or the utility drawer. Free. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll include this easy stripping tool. Yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Quickly cut and strip cables with no fraying. Strip multiple wires at the same time. Or strip and solder cables lightning fast in just one pass. It's made for a lifetime of use because it's powered by cold heat. If you're not completely satisfied, return it for a full refund of the purchase price. But keep the stripping tool as our gift. This incredible value is all yours for only $19.95. So call now. Call 1-800-269-8954 and order your cordless cold heat soldering tool. Now go from soldering back to cool to touch in seconds. This incredible offer won't last. So call 1-800-269-8954. It's time for the semifinals in straight line drag competition in round 22 of MOD action. This semi will feature Brad Christensen in the Dragon Slayer. He'll be doing battle with Brian Harwood in Monster Patrol. Craig Christensen, our points leader in the season standings. A good showing here may clinch the season championship for Craig Christensen in straight line drags. But Monster Patrol has that hemi power set up for straight line action. Monster Patrol tough off the green, flies through the air, rear wheels in the air across the timing line. Monster Patrol takes it by less than a tenth, four, five, six, eight for Brian Harwood. This is a close race. Let's take another look. Major air right there for Brian Harwood, but it's hard to fault Craig Christensen. He had a great run as well, flying to the finish, but just a hair behind Brian Harwood and Monster Patrol. We go on board now. Here's what it looks like from the inside. Boy, those guys take a lot of punishment. Look out! Does some damage to one of the cars at the end of the speedway there. Look at Monster Patrol, major air. Great run for Brian Harwood. As we move on to semifinal number two now, it will be Brad Campbell in the Monster Moose. He beat his teammate Jason Grill in his uh, heat. He'll be going up against Paul Jensen in Spider-Man. Oh, Paul beats him off the green. Brad Campbell was sleeping at the start there, and Paul Jensen just runs away with it. His time, 4867. Monster Moose forgot to hit the gas pedal there. His time, 6403. Let's take a look at Spider Man over the kicker well. Sets up those cars. Comes across the finish line with a lot of momentum. Spins it to a stop, and Brad Campbell. Just didn't get off the green and then didn't set up his cars very well. Didn't clear the stack in the air. Didn't look like he was under full power coming across the line either. Let's take a look. Yeah, Brad Campbell may have had some trouble there. We'll have to check and see. So the stage is set now for our straight line drag final. This will be Brian Harwood in Monster Patrol going up against Paul Jensen in Spider-Man. Paul Jensen, the hometown favorite. We're here in Ogden, Utah. 
Ball looking to get it done. Monster Patrol has been impressive. Good start for both trucks. Tough break there for Monster Patrol. He had to get off the gas. Spider-Man takes the final with a time of 4.967. Brian Harwood struggles with a time of six seconds. Let's take a look at Jensen's run now. Over the kicker really well. Sets up the cars good. Drifted a little bit to the right. Didn't come down on all fours, but it didn't matter. Let's see if Harwood got the nose way up in the air, came down on two wheels, had to get off the gas to set up the, the car stack, and just didn't hit it right. Look at that, almost a, a tailgate stand type of wheelie there for Harwood coming across the kicker, and he could never get it righted. So Paul Jensen wins the straight line final. Your standings in straight lines tonight. The result, Spider-Man takes it, followed by Monster Patrol, Dragon Slayer, Monster Moose, Public Disturbance, Carolina Crusher, Airborne Ranger, and Disturbed. Your season standings, Dragon Slayer extends his lead over Monster Patrol, Spider-Man, Bigfoot, Linux, and Monster Moose. Let's talk to our winner, Paul Jensen. All right, now, uh, Paul, I'm going to ask you a little bit about the uh, straight line drags. You had a heck of a qualifying time. In fact, you came out with the fastest qualifying time with a 4.90. Smoked everybody else, and you proved that to be uh, the way it was going to go for the rest of the night. Oh, yeah, man. I, my main emphasis that I've tried uh, doing this year is my tires, obviously. I cut those to be real aggressive. Uh, I've been working on my reaction time. Uh, being a younger person gives me a little bit of a, an advantage in the reaction time department. But uh, Brian Harwood, I had there in the finals. Uh, this is my first time racing him. He's a real tough competitor, and uh, I think he did a really good job, put on a good show here for MOD. That he did. Now, uh, right off the bat in the straight line drags, you had to uh, race Craig Christensen, of course, is, which is one of your rivals over the entire course of the season and a family member. And uh, you put him down right off the bat. That had to make you feel pretty good to uh, get that far early in the competition. Oh, yeah, of course. He's my toughest competitor, like we've said before. We get to the line, and it's like we're both nervous. Uh, don't really want to race each other, but we have to. Obviously, we're at the same show. So to beat him is a, a, a bonus for me. Yeah. Monster Truck Store Doc. Welcome back to round 22 of MOD action here on the Outdoor Channel. It's time for obstacle course racing. Our first heat will feature Joe Cypher in the Airborne Ranger. He'll be doing battle with Craig Christensen in the Dragon Slayer. Christensen is our season standings leader in obstacle course racing as well as straight line drags. That truck is set up well with the short wheelbase returning. Let's see how he does here against Cypher in the Airborne Ranger. Look at the air for Craig Christensen. Slap Willie on the landing as he comes to the pole. Power slides around the turn. Christensen's got a good run going here. Airborne Ranger, all kinds of trouble coming around the turn. Craig Christensen brings it home as Cypher misses his car stack completely. And this was an impressive performance by Craig Christensen in the Dragon Slayer, posting a time of 15, 6.63, Airborne Ranger, three seconds off the pace. Good start here for Christensen. A lot of air right there. Slap wheelie on the landing, gathers it up, slides through that turn, back on the gas before he completes the turn. Handles that stack well, drifts to the right, touches the tire there at the finish line, but comes across the finish line clean with an impressive win here in heat number one of obstacle course action. Let's take a look at Cypher now. Letting some dust fly. He gets really high, but brings that nose down hard. Has to gather it back up. Has some trouble here. Carries the apex of his turn too wide. Has to correct. Misses that kicker. He's in all kinds of trouble by this point. Misses his cars completely. That'll be a two-second penalty for him. Doesn't even bother to come across the finish line. He knew he'd been beat. Let's go on board now with Craig Christensen. A good turn here. He's back on the gas before he even completes the turn. Up and over this kicker. Sets up those cars perfectly. Look at him drift there. You see the horizon tilt to the right. That's got to be an unsettling feeling if you're in the cockpit of that monster truck. But he brings it home. Craig Christensen will advance, and we move on to heat number two now. This will be the Carolina Crusher, driven by James T. He will do battle against Brian Harwood in Monster Patrol. He usually drives the Oz Monster, but tonight he's on patrol, and look out, you don't want to get busted. Here comes Harwood. Look at him fly over that kicker. He carried too much momentum. He's going to have trouble getting around the turn. Carries it wide, but he's still ahead of his competitor. Has to get off the gas. 
gives Carolina Crusher a chance, but Carolina Crusher not too fast either, but something's gone wrong with Harwood. It wasn't so much who won that race, but who didn't lose. James Teague wins the battle of attrition in the Carolina Crusher with a time of 18.058. Both trucks struggled in this heat here. Let's take another look. Here's Teague in the Crusher. Got some major air right there, but stalled his forward momentum. Carried the turn a little bit too wide around that turning tire. Sets up this stack, doesn't get hardly any air. Has to correct here to get over his car stack. No air, but rolls to victory. Sort of limps at home as Harwood was struggling in the other lane. Let's see if we can find out what happened to Harwood here. Slams the nose over the first kicker. A lot of air right there. Suspension wobbly at that point. Still got a chance here, but there he's off the gas. I don't know if it's foot slipped or he just needed to set up that kicker. Has a hard time over that kicker, misses his car stack completely. And by this time, Carolina Crusher has the heat one. One more look now. Most Patrol was doing pretty good up to this point. Struggled around the turn a little bit. Too much gas, maybe. Tried to do too much there. Had to slow down, had to correct. Missed the kicker, drifts to the left, and just misses that car stack, handing the victory to James Teague in the Carolina Crusher. A tough break for Brian Harwood in Monster Patrol here. Let's move on to heat number three. Teammates doing battle once again. Heavy D, Jason Grill in the public disturbance, going up against Brad Campbell in the Monster Moves. Brad has had a, a little bit more success in MOV action than Jason Grill, but. Jason appears to be feeling it tonight. This could be his night. Let's see. They go green. Pretty even so far. Grill first to the turn. There you see Monster uh, Moose negotiating that turn. Something's happened to Jason. He's had a little bit of trouble there. Looks like Campbell's going to get it done, but on the gas a little bit too late is Jason Grill. Monster Moose wins with a time of 16.733. Public disturbance 17 and change. The truck's really doing great over this very technical obstacle course here at Ogden Stadium. Monster Moose pretty good on his first straightaway. Comes through the turn clean. Has to correct to hit his stack. Drifts out of his lane. Corrects up and over the car stack and brings it home. Jason Grill knew he had a chance. He was on the gas hard, but he lost it early. Let's see if we can find out exactly where. Look at the air over that second kicker. Really got off the gas to gather himself and get around this turn. They're pretty even still at this point. There you see Campbell starting to pull away, but he's struggling there. Grill knows he has a chance, gets back on the gas hard, but it's too little, too late for Jason Grill. One more look now at both trucks. Grill better air, but Monster Moose got really high over that kicker, but not forward. He just went pretty high up in the air. There you see Monster Moose struggle, drifted out of his lane, had to correct, but had enough time to get it going straight again and defeat Jason Grill. Time for heat number four of obstacle course action. This will be Brian Christensen in Disturb. He'll do battle with Paul Jensen in Spider-Man. Paul Jensen, a multiple round winner in obstacle course action. The wind has really kicked up here in Ogden, Utah. It's getting ugly out there. Christensen pretty good down the straightaway, but not as good through the turn as Paul Jensen gets to his car stack first. He's left Christensen in the dust. Spider-Man flies across the line as Christensen limps it home. He'll have to step it up in freestyle because he's done in obstacle course racing. Five seconds behind Paul Jensen and Spider-Man. Here's a look at Jensen's run. So far, see trash flying around. It's really windy in Utah right now. The banner's flying. Jensen, very clean run. Nothing there really to argue about. He's done a fine job once again. He will advance. Ryan Christensen struggled here in, in obstacle course racing. Slammed the nose over that first kicker. Got a lot of air right there, but bounced the landing. Had to get off the gas to set up the turn. Carried the turn really wide. Took a while to get back on the gas once he was straight. Did not attack the kicker at all. Couldn't clear the cars in the air, and it was all over for Brian Christensen at this point. One more look now. They're even at this kicker. I thought Christensen was going to get it done here. 
But as Spider-Man comes around the turn, he is well ahead. As Christensen just struggles to complete the turn, and Jensen brings it home to advance to the semis. We'll be back with the semis after these words on MOD. Welcome back to Monsters of Destruction on the Outdoor Channel. It's the semifinal round of obstacle course racing in round 22 from Ogden Stadium in Ogden, Utah. This is the last weekend of competition on the 2005 schedule for the Monsters of Destruction. We're looking forward to a great 2006, but plenty of racing left here from Ogden as the Carolina Crusher goes up against Craig Christensen here. Christensen first to the turn, gets around it clean. Up and over the kicker well. He's got a big lead right here. He can just dance at home as Carolina Crusher struggles. And Dragon Slayer beats him by about two seconds. 15, 8, 21 for Craig. Carolina Crusher, two seconds off the pace. So look at Christensen now. Not really clean over that kicker. He bounced a lot there, but gets around the turn well. Lines up that car, keeps it going forward. He's got such a huge lead, he's just saving that truck for the finals and freestyle. You know Craig is going to be up for freestyle in front of his hometown crowd. Can't wait for that. Don't really have to ask too much of his truck here as James Teague really struggled. Look at how much air he got right there. He bounced the nose hard. Had to get off the gas because he was out of shape. Carried the turn awful wide right there. Added too much distance to his race course, and by this time, Craig Christensen was across. Tough break for Teague. As he falls here to Craig Christensen in the Dragon Slayer. Looks like Christensen beat him off the green, too. Just a little quicker on the gas pedal. He's struck with the short wheelbase, really strong in turning situations. He's able to save that truck for the finals. He's looking to clinch the obstacle course championship here tonight. I know that's been a goal of his since day one. And he's well on his way to achieving that goal here tonight. Let's move on now to semi number two. Monster Moose driven by Brad Campbell going up against Paul Jensen and Spider-Man. Spider-Man won straight line drags earlier in round 22 here tonight. Looking to sweep. Gonna have to get by Brad Campbell to do it. Brad has a little bit of a lead on the straightaway, bounces that landing, but look at Jensen slide through that turn. He takes the lead as he sets up that first kicker and pulls away now. Paul Jensen flies across the line as fiberglass flies off of that machine. Monster moves 16-2-1-1, not good enough to beat Spider-Man at 14-5-69. He's lost some fiberglass there, but he's in good shape as he will advance to the final. Jensen just really strong through the turn. Lifts that front wheel off the ground. So much horsepower here. Didn't really hit that kicker well. Had to correct, but did a great job as he breaks a piece off of that Spider-Man coming to the finish. Here's Campbell now. Drifted a little bit. Had to correct. Slap wheelie on the landing. Slowed him down a little bit. Had to gather that monster moose machine. Not enough forward momentum over the kicker. Really out of shape there. Had to hit the brakes to line up those cars well. And Paul Jensen took advantage of that mistake. One more look now. Coming down the straightaway, they look pretty even. That slap wheelie messed up Campbell a little bit. Jensen just strong through the turn. Pulls away here to victory. And he will match up against his dad, Craig Christensen, in the final. Will be teammate against teammate, father against son here in the final. There he is, Craig Christensen in the Dragon Slayer, looking to beat Paul Jensen in Spider Man. So rain has started to fall here in Ogden, Utah. It's going to be a wet final. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Batman, Paul Jensen in Spider Man, or Craig Christensen in Dragon Slayer? A false start for Jensen there. They don't penalize him, but he's going to have his work cut out for him now as he didn't help himself off the start. Look at Christensen. Power slide around that turn, but the trucks are even. Spider-Man pulls away now. Spider-Man, Paul Jensen takes out the tires at the finish. He wins with a time of 14.803. Craig Christensen, 15.623. There you see Jensen with the false start. I'm surprised he was able to recover from that, as Christensen usually makes somebody pay for a mistake like that. Look at Jensen now, real good over that kicker. Flies across the finish line, takes out our tires. Those are protecting our timing equipment right there. Good thing they were there. 
series promoter uh, Chris Kingston might have been out a few grand for new timing equipment. Let's take a look now at Dragon Slayer. He's pretty even here, but oh, he carried his turn way too far, drifted way too far to the inside, had to correct, and Jensen made him pay. One more look now there. You see the false start in Spider-Man. You would think that that would be too much to overcome, and Christensen actually first to the turn. But look at him right here. He carries the turn too far to the inside, has to correct back to the left, and Paul Jensen just stood on it and brought it home, took out our tires, and wins obstacle course racing, completing the sweep here in round 22. So the final standing, Spider-Man on top, followed by Dragon Slayer, Brad Campbell in the Monster Moose, a respectable third, followed by Carolina Crusher, Public Disturbance, Airborne Ranger, Disturbed, and Monster Patrol. The season standings look like this. It's Dragon Slayer on top of Spider-Man, Monster Patrol, Bigfoot, Monster Moose, and Linex. Let's get a word with our winner, Paul Jensen. All right, now, uh, Paul, you're back in the winner's circle once again, as we saw earlier tonight with the uh, straight line drags, now with the J-style racing. Now you're back out in front of the hometown crowd, and you're uh, walking away victorious again. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, i got to thank my sponsors. Uh, Herrick's Industrial Supply supplies us with all our nuts and bolts to keep our stuff together. Uh, six states distributors, Tough Country Suspension, Lynch Hummer, Amsoil. The list goes on and on. Uh, I'd like to thank my brothers, uh, Mike, Andre, and the rest of the crew we have here. They, you know, without them, we, we wouldn't be able to make it out to every round because we run them to the limit. Sometimes they break. And, uh, we always give it back out there for the fans, and that's why we do it. For Monster Truck Merchandise. Welcome back to MOD Round 22 on the Outdoor Channel. We're at the Ogden Stadium in Ogden, Utah, getting ready for freestyle. Here comes Brian Christensen in Disturbed. He struggled a bit here in MOD competition. I've been really hard on him. Let's see what he can do here tonight. Whoa, comes out strong through the RV. There's nothing left of it. My goodness. That is what you call true destruction, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing left of that RV. We've got seven trucks left to freestyle, and they're just going to be picking up the pieces. Brian Christensen destroys an RV here in Ogden. What a great start to freestyle here on MOD. Flies over that stack. Pieces are falling off of that machine. Brian Christensen. He is a true monster of destruction here tonight. Wow. Plenty of time left. Gets over some tires, gets a feel for it. What can he do to top that first move? Right off the opening bell, he just destroys that RV. There's nothing left to crush out there. He's made mince meat of the infield. Wow. Looking for something to crush. He's already crushed most of what we put out there for him. Good air right there. There's not, not much left of this truck. This is the best swings best it best around. Brian really came out strong here in freestyle. Look at him fly over that stack into a slap wheel. He can't hold it. A smoke starts to pour from the exhaust of that truck. He's overheating. I think he's going to have to shut it down. That's it for Brian Christensen. So Brian came out strong, destroyed the RV we put out there for him. He steps out of that truck. Look at him. He's on fire. He's really jacked up. He knows he did something good here tonight. That was an amazing move, ladies and gentlemen. Perpendicular off the ground, straight up in the air, 90 degrees, and there's nothing left of this RV. You don't see that every day. Look at this one more time. There, there's not much you can say about that. That was really cool. Look at his reaction. That reaction, Brian tells the story right there. It's nice to see him do well here in MOD action. He's really struggled of late, but it's going to be hard to top that freestyle performance. Here comes Heavy D, Jason Grill, and Public Disturbance. Not to be confused with Disturb. Jason, another one of those drivers who hasn't been uh, you know, dominating in freestyle. He's really been coming into his own of late. Let's see what he can do here tonight in freestyle from Ogden. On the gas, up and over the pink car stack there. 
Man, oh man, Jason Grill. His next move now. This truck has been running really well here tonight. Here he comes. They made some horsepower modifications to the engine. Look at this. Tailgate stand. Puts it on its back there. Got a lot of air. Stood it up 90 degrees. Jason looking good here in freestyle. Really great to see these young drivers really improve from week to week. Brian came out strong and disturbed. And now Jason Grill. Some impressive moves here in freestyle in round 22. And over that kicker, get some air. It's going to be hard to top that first move. We thought that RV would last a little bit longer. Tries a slap wheelie there. Puts it up on two wheels. So Jason Grill is done. He will wave to the crowd here at Ogden. The rain has stopped. Let's catch a break here. Jason waves them. He'll go over to the other side of the arena to address those fans. Didn't string a lot of moves together, but he had one or two really impressive moves here in this routine. Look at this. On the gas hard. Tailgate stand coming over that car stack. Bounces it back to all fours. A little bit of a slap on the landing. One more look now. Look at that. 90 degrees. Straight up and down. A nice move there for Jason Grill. He looked good here tonight. One more look from the reverse angle. He's lucky he still has a tailgate on that truck. Ouch! Welcome back to Freestyle on the Outdoor Channel. This is Brad Campbell in the Monster Moose. Attacks what's left of that RV that Brian Christensen just absolutely destroyed. Coming right out of the gate into Freestyle here in round 22. Campbell has been impressive in some freestyles. It's been a few shows since he's done much to write home about. Into a slap wheelie right there. Tough to beat Brian Christensen. He tore that RV just pieces. A lot of distance right there. There's a slap wheelie once again from Brad Campbell. Trying to string a few moves together. We've seen one or two impressive moves from each of our trucks so far. But not the entire series that usually wins in freestyle. Determined by audience response. It's good to see Brad Campbell back out here. Picks those rear wheels up in the air over that stack of cars. Of course, Brad flying the colors of the Outdoor Channel, one of these broadcast partners for the last year. Decided to move on in 2006 for the action also on the Outdoor Channel. Announced they've returned next year, so they'll be back with you. We hope you're with us. Campbell completes his run now. Let's take one more look. Tries a slap wheelie there. Dust flies from those rear wheels. Reverse angle. Some distance there. Tries to get it up on two wheels, but can't really hold it for any time. So he'll give way to Joe Cipher in the Airborne Ranger. Look at the haircut on that one. He really plays the part. Beautiful paint scheme on this Airborne Ranger. Red, white, and blue. Slams the nose down hard over that jump. So this next move now. Back on the gas, attacks this stack. A little bit of air there for Joe. Struggled in straight lining off the course here tonight. Let's uh, see if he can pick it up in freestyle. There's a nice jump. It doesn't appear to be set up for the big air that some of the other trucks can get. Throw a donut in there. He's got a little bit of a donut going right there, kicking up some dust here in Ogden. First donut we've seen tonight. Joe Cipher here in freestyle in the Airborne Ranger. The plan is next move here. Not a whole lot to write home about in this performance. I think he's going to call it a night. Joe Cipher waves to the crowd here in Ogden. The rain has stopped. Look at what's left of that RV. Brian Christensen just destroyed that thing. 
And in Joe Cypher's defense, there's not a lot left out for him to crush, so he goes for a donut here, and he's got it. A nice right-hander. Traction's a little tough here tonight. You usually like to see those donuts a little tighter, a little faster, but first one we've seen, and the crowd seemed to like it. So Joe Cypher in the Airborne Ranger. He'll take it to the garage, and we'll get ready for our next 40-style performance. This is James Teague in the Carolina Crusher. Big air coming right out of the gate here for Teague. This truck has been around for quite some time. James is also a mechanic for Paul Schaefer, drives his rig. And there he is. He's a lot of seat time, but he's looking pretty good here in freestyle so far. This is the first of two shows from Ogden Stadium in Ogden, Utah. Round 23 coming at you next week. That will be the last event in the 2005 MOD Series. T sets up his next jump in the Carolina Crusher. This is over those kickers. It's the front, pretty far off the ground there. Not a lot of height on the curb wheels. The weather here tonight, brief periods of rain, the rain has stopped. James T, his first freestyle event here in MOD action. Kind of shows, he's just getting his feet wet here. We've seen a lot of improvement from our other drivers, including Brian Christensen. Sets up his big finish right there. Decent air over that car stack. Not bad for T. Got anything left in the tank? That's it. Here's his best jump right there. Slaps it hard, bounces all four wheels off the ground. One more look now as we go to break here on MOD. We'll be back with more after this. Monster. By MonsterTruckStore.com, your online source for monster truck merchandise. Lots of freestyle left to go here from Ogden, Utah. This is Brian Harwood in Monster Patrol. Look at him fly. His first jump is a good one. Tries a slap wheelie on the landing. Not a lot of height on it, but an impressive first move from Brian Harwood. Had some tough luck here in straight line tracks and lots of the course racing. Looking to make up for it here. Look at the speed. Monster Patrol carries over that jump. More pass now for Brian Harwood. Mashes the gas. He's up and over. A lot of height for him right there. Good extension on that jump. Harwood, normally in the Oz Monster, filling in for Paul Schaefer here tonight in Ogden. Slaps the landing there. He's got a slap wheelie going. Carries it straight into a jump over that stack of cars. Bounces the rear wheels and carries it all the way to the end of the speedway. That was pretty cool right there. Ryan Harwood looking good here in freestyle. Got a lot of time left to go. Stepping it up. Takes a 45 degree over that kicker. He's swinging around. Got about half his time left here is Harwood. He's setting up his jump here. There he's on the gas. Those lights start blazing on Monster Patrol. Popular truck among the kids here in the crowd. That's pretty good right there. Got up pretty high in that monster patrol truck. Up some dust. This is Ryan Harwood. Had a good move early, but he's struggling to find uh, something to follow it up with here in freestyle. that monster patrol machine way up in the air. So Harwood really at a disadvantage. Not a lot left out there to crush after Brian Christensen in Disturbed just destroyed that RV in the very first freestyle move tonight. Harwood will shut it down, wave to the crowd here in Ogden. There you get a look at one of his best jumps. Into a slap wheelie there. Two wheels over the kicker. Attacks that stat. 
some decent air, slams the front down, carries this slap wheelie quite a bit longer. Right into a jump over that stack, bounces the rear wheels off of it. Skipped across that stack of cars, looked pretty good here tonight. And now, a treat for the hometown crowd here in Ogden, Utah. It's father and son, Paul Jensen and Craig Christensen, a tandem freestyle run to take things out here on MOD round 22. There's Craig Christensen, he's in the Dragon Slayer. Likely to be our champion in straight line and obstacle course racing. Flying high here tonight. Paul Jensen, not to be outdone. He gets some good air in Spider-Man right there. A rare tandem run as Jensen goes into a donut. He's got it hooked up. It's always a treat when you see a tandem run. The two very similar trucks, father and son, having a little fun in front of the hometown fans here in Utah. Spider-Man, look at that air. A lot of distance for Spider-Man right there. Christensen not to be outdone. Into a wheelie he goes. Jensen hooks up a donut right there. A lot of action here in Ogden to finish things up. Here comes Spider-Man. He's on the gas. He's flying high. Drifts a little bit to the left. Bounces the landing. Christensen darts across the center of the infield here. Here comes Craig. Oh, look out. He punished that Dragon Slayer truck, and he has got some trouble. The left rear is flat. It's come off the rim as he brings it to a stop. What a great way to end things here from Ogden Stadium in Ogden, Utah, as Craig Christensen unbuckles. Here comes Jensen out of that Spider-Man truck. A great tandem freestyle performance by those two men right there. Jensen waves to the crowd. There's Christensen. We usually see that double fist pump. He's not all that fired up about this run. He's had better, but he sure did finish strong. There's a beautiful sight. Two monster trucks in tandem over their stack of cars. Christensen flies through the air, comes down hard on the right side of that Dragon Slayer machine. Jensen into a donut there, gets that front wheel off the ground. Nice tight spins on that donut. Not much left of the Spider-Man truck after this punishing night. And here's the big finish for Dragon Slayer as he punishes the left side of that truck and experiences a flat. Let's talk to Craig. What, uh, what made you guys decide to come out here two at a time? Well, like I say, this is hometown, and we wanted to put on a great show. The first jump over the van, I broke the rear end, so I had front-wheel drive only. I was going to finish the move by jumping over Spider-Man, but uh, with only front-wheel drive, it wasn't going to happen. But you know what? Each and every one of you guys need to grab somebody and come back tomorrow. If we don't fill this place, MOD can't come back to do another show. We've got to have people in the seats to make it worthwhile. And I want everybody to be back to, and to be able to come back to my hometown. I live in Willard, Utah. I was raised here. Like I say, this is home for me and I've tried and tried to get him to bring in a decent show. We brought you in probably the most monster truck racing you've ever seen at one time at a show. You show me any place you can go, down to the Delta Center, the Salt Palace, even out to Rocky Mountain, you still don't see that much monster truck racing. MOD has been the best thing for us. Like say, uh, Paul and I have been doing a great job on the circuit. We're trying to make sure that uh, we represent the state of Utah well and we're just proud to be home. Thanks again for everybody coming. Well, uh, Craig, thank you very much. You, uh, you put on a great show out there, and uh, you gave them a reason to bring somebody back tomorrow night, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. We wanted to leave them with something in their uh, taste in their mouth that they'd want to come back for some more tomorrow, because I guarantee you, you come back tomorrow, there's going to be somebody upside down, on fire, or close to the crowd. Stay tuned next week for the final round of MOD 2005. Until then, this is Wade Sherman reminding you, there are men. There are machines, and then there are monsters of destruction.